Hi there guys and welcome back. I'm back with another handheld and this is going to be a slightly different one. So this is the R36S Ultra which um, has recently appeared at my door and I am going to do a normal full review of this um, but at the moment there's something that I just want to show you guys in this video. I will do a full review video eventually but this is just to show you a little something. So these, this is running Emulec, and normally with these Emulec systems, or with it, this particular type of Emulec system, not with all Emulec systems, but with this particular type, they normally run the OS on a chip on the board, and have the SD card that it for ROMs, and that's what we got here. Now, the SD card filled with ROMs, if we take that out, in most machines it will just try and boot into the OS, get so far, and then complain that it can't find the ROM files. This one doesn't. Let's boot this one up. So we are R36 Ultra, and we've got a bit of waiting time here, um, but I've discovered quite possibly what might be the Ultra here in the R36 Ultra. So I've been calling it the R36S Ultra. It's just shown as the R36 Ultra here. What's it on the back? It is the R36 Ultra on the back. There we go. There we go. Right, so we've booted up in, and you can see it's booted up into the OS. The card is not in. There is no card in here. The card is not in. We've booted up into the OS. And you can see it's shown as having NES games. How can we have NES games without a card? Let's Sort the colors out there. There we are. That's better. So I've just sort of my colors out on the thumbs because it's all a bit flashy. Uh, but yeah, how can we have NES games with that card? We open them up, and hey, what are these? What are these? These are NES bootlegs. The internal storage on this. Is loaded with NES bootleg ROMs and that's fascinating. Those ROMs I've checked and they are not on this card. The only way of accessing them is by taking the card out and booting directly into the OS on the system without the card in and that is absolutely fascinating. Um, I've yet to find a way of trying to copy from the internal memory on this but I am going to try and find a way of copying from the internal memory on this because this fascinates me. Right, so if we boot in, we're going to go with Blobman. Oh, let's turn that down, that's a bit loud. But we have got the Blobman on the NES. And you can see we have Blobman. And the whole point of this one is you are a colour. You want that colour blob. We missed. Oh, we're missing terribly. I'm not very good at this one. Let's go over here. No, missing blobs. Missing all the blobs. Here we go over here. Yeah, we and happy blob. Now we're green, and we go through greens. You can see very basic game, but this is a typical NES bootleg game. The sort that you'd get on those um, bootleg NES cartridges. So let's come out of this. I think our blood man died as we came out there. But you can see all these. These are all bootleg games. What's this? Let's try this. Eat the City Snakes. Okay. And I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is Snake. This is a very slow snake, but this, this is basically a snake clone. So yeah, the R36 
36 Ultra. I have found the Ultra. Oh, can we go quicker here? Yes, we can. We can go quicker. Look at that. With the snake. So yeah, um, the R36 Ultra. We have found the Ultra. The Ultra is secret bootleg NES games on the internal storage of the system. So you can see there's a lot of these games. There's a lot of these games on here. Let's go with Galaxy Killer. Sure, let's go with this one. Oh, what is what was that? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we use that back. Whoa, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, we've got shoot. Wow. How are we supposed to? Okay. One button is to drive and the other one is to shoot. So driving and shooting is rather difficult. Let's... I like the speed that it can go. Look at that! Whoa. Anyway, let's have a look back through the menu here. See, look how many we've got Romeo and H, uh, I, L, P, Plumber. Oh, we're going to check out Plumber, guys. We're going to have a look at Plumber. Oh, and it's, yeah, <laughs> it's a Mario Brothers clone. My god. Okay. That is, that is interesting. Let's come out of that one. That is, that is a Mario Brothers clone. That's, that's a weird one. Yeah, we've got Solitaire. We've got various other things. Plush Dog. Highway Racing. Road Hero, Robot, Rocket Man, Russia, so yeah, you can see we've got a lot, this is a lot of bootleg games, we have got so many bootleg games on here, and this is where we hit the end of the list here but yeah that is the uh that is the ultra of the r36 ultra bootleg nes games built onto the internal storage anyway guys if you could like comment and subscribe that would help me out something great um do leave your thoughts and opinions down below what do you think about the little Ultra, we're going to call it the Ultra Egg, the Ultra Easter Egg of the R36 Ultra. The fact that when you pull out the game card, we've got NES bootlegs to play. What a world we live in, huh? I'll catch you next time, guys.